hi guys it's Christy uh, welcome back to Littles and Loving It so today I'm gonna be doing a review on the uh, Gelish dip powder the Gelish dip system um, but really quickly uh, yes I am in my car you guys know I have kids and I seriously I cannot get anything done like around them like if I have to talk I can't be around them <laughs> Um, and then also my voice. I don't really know what's going on. I know I sound like I've been smoking for like 40 years or something. But, uh, no. I don't know what's going on. I'm not sick. There's nothing wrong. But, <clears throat> yeah. So, anyway. Um, the Gelish Dip System. So, let me show you guys what it comes with first of all. Well, first of all, let me say. I chose Gelish um, when I was trying to find a system because I like the, um, what is it, the Gelish gel polishes. So I was like, well, let me stick to a, a brand that I already know. That was a mistake, okay? <laughs> but we'll get into that. Um, so let me show you what it comes with. It comes with four steps. Uh, this is step one. It's called prep. Uh, is it? Come on okay yeah it's called prep and it's really just a, a dehydrator um and then you have the second step which is the base and this is the um adhesive so the next step is the activator and honestly you guys i really i don't know what the activator does i don't know like i'm sure there's some chemical process that happens um, but yeah, the activator, that's the third step. And then the top coat is the last step. And then it also comes with, or I'm sorry, it doesn't come with, you have to purchase these things um, individually. The two uh, powders that I got, I got this one, it's called Light Elegance. And this is so beautiful, you guys. This is actually what I have on my nails now. The, uh, the pink that I have. This is this color and then i have this red and it's called hot rod red and um this kind of requires in order to get it to the um i guess opaqueness that i have it here i use three coats um this the red is true to its color and you really only need like two coats um as far as the uh powder goes i i love the gelish powders um, I, these were $10 each. I don't remember how, uh, how much these cost, but I got them from my, um, local nail supply store, but you can only go there if you're a student or a professional. Um, but I can't remember how much those were, but these were like $10 each. And I love these to me, like they have such a, a bigger, uh, at least from, from what I can tell from where I go. They have a bigger um, selection of colors, and they're just, they're so pretty. I'll post, um, I'll post a picture of, I've used the red on a client before, I'll post a picture at the end of this um, video, but they're just very pretty, and I, I, I love the powders. Now, as far as the uh, adhe adhesive, adhesive, <laughs> as far as the adhesive, Okay, these suck these suck so the first time that I ever used the um, dip system I used it on myself first because I like to practice on myself before I put it on the client and I remember it being really hard to get off um, but I just thought maybe you know I was new at it and I don't know maybe it just it's like that maybe it's just a product that doesn't come off easily so I um, used it and <clears throat> excuse me I didn't have any issues um, really except for trying to get it off my nails so then I did my sister-in-law's nails and I, it was a client in the salon um, I did her nails as well and this step right here the base coat every time I would put it on their nails they would say it was burning and I was like well, the first person it burned was my sister-in-law she said it would just like heat up um and then i used it on a client another client in the salon and yeah every time i 
put it on her nails, she would kind of pull back a little bit and she would be like, it's burning. So I don't, like, I don't know why it burned. But kind of after that, I knew I just wasn't going to uh, use it anymore. So I had a, a big issue with this. And, you know, you can't use, like, this with a different activator from another company i don't think stuff like that is suggested um so yeah this sucked <laughs> let's see um the prep is actually just a dehydrator so really i can use it is i have a dehydrator that i use but I, I probably will keep this um because it's just a dehydrator so I, and and this didn't it didn't have any effect um, on no, like no one complained about anything when using this. You guys know dehydrator, you know, is nothing. It doesn't hurt or anything. Um, again, and the activator, it was there was no issue with the activator. Um, you just put it on. I didn't have any complaints about that. But this, this right here, it, the top coat sucks. So these two um, parts to the whole um, combination suck this gives absolutely no shine to the nails like this I mean, uh, what I have on my nails right now I just use the um, gel top coat uh, over the dip now anyway but when I use this the nails it did they didn't look shiny at all like they were just basic looking and dry looking you know how the nails look when you um, when you paint them but you haven't put the top coat on yet Especially if you're using a gel top coat because it's like extra shiny. Um, so yeah, no, I hate it. These were the two steps that gave me the most uh, problems. Um, let's see. What else did I want to say? Oh, okay. So I use these powders, but I use the um, SNS adhesive now. And I've used it on a couple of clients. I use it on my sister-in-law. Um, and then I went back to, um, redo her nails. And when I took it, when I had her soaking her hands, it came off way better. Like, when I tell you I had to file her nails, I feel so bad. I had to file her, her nails so much that, um, her, like, nail was, uh, sore. That I was trying to get this mess. <laughs> off of her nails and I couldn't get it off. We soaked it. We tried you know, I tried a couple of different um techniques to get it off. It was it was really, really annoying. So for now I will be using um these the gelish powders and I I have um S and S powders as well. I I really, really love these though. They just they they when you dip it in it just comes on on smoother and I just I really like these um, so I plan to use the gelish powders and the SNS powder and um, the SNS adhesive I think that's what really makes the difference in terms of like burning someone or like the product not wanting to come off or even um, like the product chipping or something that's right because this chip um, this chip as well it didn't um you would think with all that it would at least uh stay on but it chipped also so um you know sometimes you don't have to be loyal to brands i kind of discovered that um i really like their gel polishes but i will not be using their um dip system um and i think that was it really I think that was all I really wanted to um, say about these. That's it. Again, I'm gonna post a picture of the um, of the red at the end of this video and show you guys one more time. This is um, this is encapsulated glitters, uh, but I use the clear um, the clear powder. Which is something that I really love about about the dip powders. You can still um, encapsulate, and to me, like encapsulated is so pretty. Encapsulated anything is just so pretty to me. Um, but that's it. I will.
talk to you guys later um don't forget to like comment and subscribe because i want to do more like review videos and um kind of like watch me do my nails or watch me do the client's nails kind of videos um i'm gonna be posting a school update soon um and also i'm gonna be actually posting a hair video soon as well but anyway that's all for now you guys deuces